add reverb to an external sound source. This is a quick and easy way to use the Vulcan Modular's Space Out reverb effect to process other sounds. All you need to do is to connect your device to the CV input, the 3.5mm socket, using an audio cable from your external device, and then patch either of the CV outputs directly into the space out signal input. It doesn't really matter which of the CV outputs you use, but I've found that if you use the top output, you'll get a very slightly stronger signal, which can be important because the signal you get through here is likely to be fairly quiet. So we're looking at a kind of a, a fairly quiet lo-fi sound, which is likely to be a bit noisy when you amplify it to the level you want. Um, but it's a nice effect and it's a little bonus and you can adjust the space out knob to change the mix between the, the plain dry sound of your audio and the fully reverbed sound of the audio like this. <laughs> Carrier Wave Always Audible. This is a nice way to listen to any audio signal or audible signal by connecting it directly to the space out signal input. This will feed that signal straight through the reverb effect and to the headphones output. Here I'm going to connect it to the carrier output from the source module. And this is a nice way to find out how the ratio fold and mod controls affect the carrier wave without having to play notes and be confused by other settings. Dry, wet foghorn. This uses the function one end trigger to set a maximum reverb amount or space out effect amount when a note is released. So as you hold a note, you have a dry sound with no reverb effect. And as you release a note, you get a maximum reverb effect during the release phase. CV input mixer. We can use the CV input as an audio input and it means we can use it as a kind of makeshift mixer to combine the sound of another audio device 
with the Vulcan modular, which is useful in some situations. Maybe you don't have a mixer available. So as you can hear there, we've got the Volker FM and also the Volker Modular playing at the same time and we can hear them both. And I'm not using my own mixer to combine these. The Volker FM is going from its audio output into the Volker Modular CV input. Then the CV output on the Vulcan Modular is going into LPG2. It's going into the audio input of LPG2 or the signal input of LPG2 and this is getting a constant high level volume signal from the utility section because when nothing is connected to the inputs and when the C knob is at maximum the A plus B times C output outputs a constant high level signal. So we can use this to in effect turn up and keep up the volume of whatever is going into LPG2 and that at the moment is the Volker FM. So this is the sound of the Volker FM and this is the sound of the Volker modular as we have it set up at the moment. I've also used the sync cables to get both of the patterns in sync. I can play that small melody on the Volker modular and I can actually change it to a, a baseline pattern by using the modulator wave instead of the carrier wave. Rocket explode. This uses a very basic feedback loop from the space out signal output to the source pitch input. This sound creates a very chaotic change in the pitch of the carrier wave. The carrier wave is really changing its own pitch very rapidly because its own wave is being fed back and turned into a pitch which is then translated back into the wave and so it goes on. 